uh, there's a current carrying long current carrying wire. I have bent it. So I want at a distance. <coughs> Let it be, and there's a point P. Let this angle be. 45 degrees let this be 45 degrees set so point p a current has to be determined let the current here the direction of current let it be this way now go back to the bias circle law formula for the manfield due to a finite wire if there's a finite wire is there and these are the ends no they're just problems based on the application of the magnetic field due to long wire that one and let this be current i we we defined this particular so what is that this is a distance b no and these are alpha beta we defined it And for long wire, alpha, beta tends to pi by two, and we'll get the magnetic field due to long wire or semi-infinite wire, or all that basic conditions. Uh, now, now he's asking the field strength at point P. What is the distance B there? What, what is the meaning of this? So I, I think I just made a condition. No? What is the distance B? It's a perpendicular distance measured from the wire. So is it a perpendicular? Nothing. It's not a perpendicular distance measured from the wire. No? So you should calculate the perpendicular distance from the wire. So take help of this one. So the perpendicular distance. I'll, I'll extend back. I'll extend back this wire. Now, where is the perpendicular distance? This will be the perpendicular distance. No, what we'll get? Now, the diagram not up to the scale. So this should be the no, no. This is the perpendicular. No, and and this is the perpendicular. So this is what the distance D, you know, in the formula. So what was the formula? B equal to mu naught I four pi D sine alpha sine beta. What are alpha beta angle made by the line joining the ends at the point P with respect to the perpendicular distance? No. Uh, look at the angles here. No. So this is a point P. One end, how much of angle it is making? You see this one. So these are the ends, no? Best thing, what happen? You rotate, like in mobile, you can rotate, no? Rotate this particular thing, make it this vertical. So it is as good as the problem is simple. Where, where the point P? The point P is not here. The point P is here. Already, I think we have discussed this in alto statics. Also, one problem I gave similar to this. Then what about one length? <coughs> And the other other will be at infinity. You try to see this. Look at the diagram clearly. Where do this will meet at infinity? No. Uh, look at these angles. What about this? This will be one angle. The, uh, this will be other angle. No. So what should be the alpha? This is alpha. This is beta. So what is alpha now? At the other end is at infinity, whereas the the uh, one end is at finite distance. You can see, other end is at infinity. The similar situation for here also. So I'll I'll define now. No, no, take the alpha. No, clearly. So what is alpha? This is what alpha. And this is what beta. One problem. One problem. If you are able to analyze clearly, you have plenty of there are around. I think 
take any reference book, no, there are around some 10 to 15 numericals are there, but everywhere the idea is same. Now tell me what is alpha, pi by 2. So let me call this a wire 1, this a wire 2. First let me do for wire 1. What is alpha? Alpha will be pi by 2. What about beta? How much beta should be? These angles are 45 degrees. This is 90, so beta must be 45 degrees or pi by 4. So due to wire 1, the field at point P, BP1, so mu naught I, 4 pi D, D is not given, A is only given for us. Then elevation between them, cos beta is equal to D by A or D is equal to A cos beta, A by root 2, substitute that one here. There's a thing, next part I'll come further. So this is the D. Now, uh, sine alpha, <coughs> sine alpha, sine beta. Mu naught i, 4 pi, D is equal to how much? A by root 2. Sine 90 plus sin minus pi by 4, uh, y negative sin. If beta measured, because in the limit what we put, minus beta to plus alpha. If I measure in the all the numericals, if I measure beta opposite to alpha, here I should substitute beta positive. How, how the measurement, the angle measurement was done. This is alpha, this is beta. So we took minus beta to plus alpha, then we ended up this equation. So in numericals, if you measure beta opposite to alpha, beta will be positive. If you measure beta in the direction of alpha, then beta should be taken negative. Or if you measure alpha in the direction of beta, then alpha should be taken negative. Uh, able to get this? So from this, what is the field strength at point P1? Mu naught i root 2, 4 pi a, 1 plus, this will be minus 1 by root 2. Mu naught i. 4 pi a root 2 minus 1, under root 2 minus 1. Now this is the field strength at point P due to first wire and next again due to second wire. The long wire only if it is bent such that <coughs> the two parts subtend an angle 90 degree between them then exactly on the bisector at addition C at point P, what is the field strength? That's what the, the question is here. And due to second one again, the, the condition is same, similar to what, what we earlier discussed, no? Ah, shall I write directly? The field strength at point P2, mu naught i, 4 pi a, uh, what about this field strength will be into the plane. Can I write directly the similar mathematics again? You should define with respect to the, this, this particular line. Huh? You should define with respect to this particular line. So again, if you extend this alpha, and this will be beta. So that one. So what is the resultant field there now? The resultant field be, should be sum of these two. I shown only for y1, the y2, we use this one. So the resultant field at point P will be mu naught i to pi a root 2 minus 1. It will be into the plane. Uh, here a charged particle is taken, projected, then in what direction it will deflect. Go back to again motion of charged particle in a magnetic field. That uh, concept is what you should apply here. Okay, tomorrow I'll continue uh, from here. 
ओके थैंक यू लव यू